Uh, let's see. So we should have a bunch of compressed fire clay in here. The next thing to do is to smelt it all. I mean, we got 15 fire brick. So we can put the rest in, in the hopper up here. Um, I'm, I'm seeing that I'm going to need to do something eventually about my whole storage situation. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I am I'm rapidly ending up in a place where I just have a big mess of chests. Um, there we go. Here's here's another chest. Can I put stuff in there? Good. All right. Random things. All right. Great. Um. There we go. Hey. Nova Shep just followed. Hey, Nova Shep, thanks for the follow. Yeah, uh, pretty early game. Still um, uh, in the Steam Age, right? So, although I did just do a, uh, a Loot Games dungeon and got some, some rubber sheets and stuff, I've not been to the Nether yet. Uh, <laughs> still working on Steel. But yeah, welcome in. Um... Just lamenting my lack of proper inventory, <laughs> proper uh, storage solutions here. Um, we are in need of a, a next base. This is base number two, sort of. I just built out of a, a tree. We started with a, uh, a witchery house over over yonder, and did kind of stone age stuff in here, and kind of doing steam here. Um, I've, I'm feeling like we're gonna grow out of this tree. <laughs> I guess there's room for maybe a couple more rooms. I have also been cutting down the tree for wood, for charcoal. Oh, a little glitchy there. Um, but yeah. Oh, nighttime. Sleep. I uh, just got a steam age mostly. Did some new LV machine stuff and mining the Twilight Forest today. Nice. Here, hold on. Let me, uh, I'll have to check you out sometime. Drop you a follow. Um, okay, we got some boiler tanks. We are probably, something I saw that didn't occur to me, that we could we could actually tank uh, steam have to have like a battery. Um, so we might do that at some point. Let's see, where am I sticking all these things? There we go. All right. I do have some, <laughs> a little bit of automation here into the macerator, at least for one of them. Um, okay. Oh, right, we're missing, uh, creosote. Where did my other buckets go? What did I do with the other two buckets? Oh, they're in a chest. Uh, highly recommended to do the Railcraft steam tank once you get three or four steam machines. Yeah, we're, I think we're going to be there, right? Um, pretty soon. We need to do, like, the forge hammer and the other stuff. Uh, right, right, right. So I, I dumped all of my stuff into this chest because I didn't know how bad the uh, the loot dungeon, uh, the loot games dungeon was going to be. There we go. All right, so there's my buckets. Let's grab some more creosote. Um, I do kind of want to get steel going here, though. That'll open up a lot of possibilities. What I've been focusing on doing is doing, like, progression related things things that are unlocking new stuff on stream and then i will do more like mining of stuff off stream um that's just like how i like to do stuff because that means i can be watching other people's streams and doing other stuff uh while i'm you know mining mining for hours all right so we got the uh fire bricks going uh and the other thing yeah, a lot, I bet. It's a very grindy pack, but I'm very excited about this. I, I just dipped my toe in back uh, more, a little more than a year ago, I think, at this point. Uh, and uh, I had seen like threefolds play through and bits of other people's. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't resist playing this anymore. So I think we have the stuff we need to make the concrete. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. We didn't need the fire brick to make the concrete, right? Uh, let's see, how did that work? Hey! 
Mr. Senpai just followed. M Mr. Senpai TTV, thank you for the follow. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome to the party. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, Moxie Block Holes. There we go. Uh, so we are making fire bricks, 36 of these. So we need 36 bucks buckets of concrete. Let me uh, bookmark that, there we go. So this is where we need the stone dust and the clay dust and the quartz and the calcite. <laughs> and buckets. Uh, I'm hoping that it does not eat the buckets. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, no problem, I was recommended you by the lovely fox leader herself. Oh, nice, well thanks Foxy. <laughs> Let's see, uh, I'm just gonna avoid that there. Okay, so let's see how this whole concrete um, thing works. I mean, we can make more buckets. Uh, threes, uh, pretty much the best videos for this. I mean, yeah, his, his video editing especially, like the amount of time he must put, uh, especially not his most recent videos, but a lot, a lot of the ones where he has like the actions time to like musical score, uh, it's quite good. Uh, <laughs> is one of the things um, that led me to eventually wanting to stream and uh, that sort of stuff. It got me more interested in video editing. Uh, this is, is this your first real Greg go through, or did you do no, Nomi Factory before? I've not done no, Nomi Factory. The closest thing to this, um, so the packs before this that I played were, um, immediately before this I was playing Create uh, Astral, which has no great tech stuff in it, but kind of some of the, th <laughs> there's some grind, but not like this. Uh, and then uh, before that I did, um, FTB um, Inferno and Create Above and Beyond. Um, so very, not really related things. Um, like this stuff in here, I, I have played uh, back in the day with the original um, uh, Industrial Craft mod. Um, but I, I'm sure there have been packs that I've played in the past that have had Greg Tech stuff in it, uh, but I've not played any like Nomi Factory or any of those other things. Pretty much my only experience with that is like watching stuff. Um, okay, so how does this work? We get a bucket. Okay, we do get a bucket back. That's good. Uh, so, gonna lurk. Hey, no problem. Thanks for the lurk, Alex. I mean, you said at the beginning that you were just gonna have me tab, so. Uh, any amount of participation, even just having the stream up, is really appreciated. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got we got some fire bricks, right? Because that's what we need the concrete for is to combine with the fire bricks, combine the thing with the thing with thing, and this is where we need the gypsum dust. So hopefully we get the bucket back, and so we can kind of do a loop there. That'll be good. Uh, yeah. So this is what we're currently eating. We got some pineapple yogurt, some cup of cup of coffee. I mean, it's not a it's not a balanced meal, but it's kind of the best things that I can make without spending a lot of time. Um, improving the food situation will be a thing to do in the future. I do, I, I look forward to eating everything in the game. You know, over the next few thousand hours. <laughs> All right, let's hook mark that too. All right, so we should be able to make some of, one of these. There we go. Uh, you know what I need? First of all, there's a thing that I have seen I don't know if I can find it. Uh, it's like a work table or something. That would be good F from forestry. Let's bookmark that, I'll, I'll probably make that later. But let's make another, um, 
Hmm. I can make another crafting station. Then I'll make this go faster. So we should have just enough materials um, to make the uh, the brick blast furnace. That is, once the fire brick finishes processing. Hey, yeah, we got a bucket back. Uh, let's go take pick up some of this creosote. That's something else that probably want to have a tank to put all the creosote in. Okay, so, um, flint and logs of some kind. I mean, I could just pick up the uh, crafting station here, but why would I do that? Uh, and then our saw, there we go. Ah, I had one that wasn't in the in the hopper to be uh, smelted. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so mostly I'm just trying to follow the quest book. Um, I don't have any like, oh, I know about this thing that I can do. You know, I'm just doing what the quest book says. Um, I think for the most part, although I am. That still is a lot of room between like doing what the quest says and then moving on to the next quest versus doing what the quest says, but also like doing a hundred times that to be able to have a lot, a lot of stuff, um, which is doing some of that. Uh, okay, so we need more water. Great if I could shift click multiple things in here, but I guess I'll just do this. Quartz sand. And there's that. There we go, like that. And like that. Clay dust. Yeah. Those numbers are not quite right. Keeping an eye on the time as well. <laughs> Ideally, we just don't let any mobs spawn. There are some mobs over there, but I think there's a cave. All right, so anyway, so we should be able to do this. Don't know what that sound was. Uh, let's see, and that, and Noxious. There we go, there we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There we go. Why was there a creeper? Must be in a cave. Do not like. Alright. Why can't... Oh, I get it, because the empty bucket is where the, the concrete's going into. It's kind of annoying, though. At least there's that. All right, and then should be able to, if I click this, yeah, I was afraid of that. It takes everything out. Of course. Uh, I guess that's still fine. I think this is still less clicks to do this versus trying to manually put the buckets in with the other stuff pre-populated. Mark and rebookmark that so it's a little easier to get to. Uh, I think that was me losing extra hearts from whatever bonus I got when I slept. Alright. Okay. Seven. 
seven fire bricks so far. <laughs> uh, how many are we going to? Is it 36? Okay. This will be a minute. something wrong there. Oh well. What? Why, why do I have... Hmm. Well, now I don't need the two crafting tables. After all. Oh, I see. Because I'm out of fire bricks. Okay. That's what happened. We got another 48. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so we have that. We can uh, make more fire bricks here. Here we go. Good. More concrete. Uh, oh, I see what I did. Okay, cool. More concrete. Go back to this one. Use this one to make the fire bricks. There we go. We might even have enough water here. Did I fill two buckets? I did fill two buckets. Okay. One back. So picky. Hmm. So I think this is the sort of thing Especially once you understand that this sort of thing is not, this is not a one-time thing. Like every time I want to make one of these until we unlock better technology, I'm going to have to do the same repetitive thing. And I, I've done many things like this already to make some of the other stuff we've made. Uh, the pack is like that, but that's the payoff, right? Is you know, you're going to sink hundreds and then thousands of hours into this and you're going to be able to, you know, have done that. You'll have the privilege of having spent all those thousands of hours. And I, for one, think that's great. Uh. Alright, so we are at 19 now of 36. Making good progress. <laughs> hmm. Uh, looks like we ran out of fuel. That makes sense. Let's get some more creosote in there. If only we had some some pipes and tanks we could 
I don't know, can you even pump fuel into this, even if we had the ability to, into an iron furnace? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go get one more bucket, though. But yeah, our, our charcoal production has been stalled because our creosote has been full for a little bit now. Alright, anyway, there we go. 21. What's your backlog? Okay. We are making progress. Should have enough fuel now to finish the rest, I think. I think I know. Yeah, okay, I already know that, uh, that vein. I should, um, so you don't have any, I got some quarried stone. <laughs> Just thinking I should cover that hole. Dusk doll appears in chat. Dust, a uh, dusk call? Whatever it is. I don't know, Pokemon. I just think it's fun to catch them all. All right. Uh, right, so we need to do this recipe again. There we go. Again, we might actually have enough water here in this little uh, pond. That'd be convenient. Especially since I dis uh, destroyed the pond that was next to this, between here and the, the tree base. One thing I've been thinking about, I feel like um, in the last modded playthrough, I spent a lot of time doing base design. And on the one hand, I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, I mean, we want to have something that looks nice, but I just don't want to spend a lot of time on that that could be spent on moving things forward so I suspect what I'll focus on doing is I think one thing is only doing things with materials that we can automate which is basically nothing right now which is why the space is in a tree <laughs> hey foxy blue Thank you for the resub. Foxy Blue just subscribed for three months. Three whole months. Thank you so much. All right, I'm just waiting for night before I do anything else. Actually, I could see. Yeah, we get 21 fire bricks in there. We're making some more. All right, cool, 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 cool. Nighttime. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure you were my first subscriber. Is that true? Is that a true statement? I feel like that's true. I could check now that I figured out how to pull the list of subs from Twitch. But I feel like that's a true statement. <laughs> All right. Foxy says yes. It must be true then. All right, yep. <laughs> we were each other's first subs. All right, so more concrete. So here's a question. Can you do anything else with this concrete? Uh, you can make wet concrete in a bacterial vat. Apparently. And what's that for? You, <laughs> you can then make construction foam. Interesting. And construction foam is used for concrete. Wait, is this a, is this a loop? <laughs> Fermenter, fluid canner. Ooh, is this? Construction foam. That's that feels very familiar. 
Uh, there must there must be some kind of IC2 gun or something. Hold on. If we hit you on this, it does nothing. Okay. Well, there might be something. Anyway. I'm making concrete. All right. Another bucket. Another brick. <laughs> and on and on we go. 25. All right, so now we need more fire bricks. Not that way. Hmm. Um, and then the other thing is, like, once I do have kind of um, some kind of block to automate, even if it's cobble, we can use um, the chisel. So an important note about the chisel, if you use it on a block that's chiselable, like um, cobblestone, it can, you know, change the cobble into the different variants, but it does use durability. But if you right click the chisel and put a block in here, you can turn, you know, you can get a decorative block from that and it doesn't use durability. So probably, honestly, the base is going to be a one chunk, <laughs> uh, cube repeating with stairs for a little bit or we might do we might go more than one chunk but um i want to balance like travel time like a, a non-zero amount of time is spent uh going back and forth between the two bases and that's going to be necessary because of pollution but in terms of all the machinery i don't want to have to go to a bunch of different places um at some point we'll probably rip all this out and move it somewhere else um maybe i don't know we'll see see how it goes how are we doing here 30 more all right are we still let me get a little bit more creative so just in case i am uh, uh i i still believe that we should be able to make steel uh this stream Um, it's, it is going to take some time once we build the multi-block structure with the stuff that we're making right now with the, uh, the fire bricks. And we still have to make the controller. How do we make the controller? Oh, okay, we have that. Okay, that's no problem. Okay, so um, once we build the structure, then it's going to take some time, maybe a couple minutes to make the first steel. But I think that, you know, we'll be able to make some steel and go from there. And that'll be good. I mean, technically, we already got our first steel because we got those, uh, the, the molds from the, uh, loot games dungeon. Uh, I don't think we are able to melt those down right now. Maybe we could, actually, but whatever. It's fine. We'll be able to use the molds. Those are things we would need anyway to be able to cast stuff. So it is all good. Just need to make more concrete. Uh, and then this here. All right, and grab some more water, some more concrete, and on and on. Almost there. Sweet water things in the inventory here. There we go. Hopefully I did the math right on the uh, on the ingredients though. Do we have actually enough of every little thing? But I think I think I did. It's, you know, with, within one or two. It wouldn't, we're not in a position where any, like if we were short one dust, that it's gonna be hours to uh, recover from that. Those are always unfortunate circumstances when that sort of thing happens. Uh, all right, but we're out of fire bricks until we, we get some more. All right, and we run back. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if they're... It's like, if we click this... Yeah, we could fill... I guess technically running to the pond isn't necessary. We could do this here. We could fill buckets here. Uh, but hey, we're already this far. And we've almost used up <laughs> the water over there and got it out of the way, so... Just uh, make make uh, lemonade from those lemons. All right, one to go. Now, let's see how this timing is. Are we going to end up needing that creosote bucket? Oh, perfect. All right, there we go. So the last time we were over here, we made uh, concrete, so we can make some fire bricks. Here we go, and more water, more concrete. Um, so yeah, if we had a bottler, we could bottle liquid concrete from a tank into this. Uh, fermenter does things, fluid canner does things. Is there a way to get concrete concrete? I guess we need like, uh, what tech level is a bacterial bat or a fermenter? Construction foam fermenter, wet concrete fermenter. Uh, fluid canner. I'm just kind of curious if there is a way like once we have electricity to automate making uh, concrete, but I don't see it. Maybe we won't need more concrete though. I don't know. Uh, although I feel like uh, in industrial craft there was a a thing where you could make capsules containing construction foam and use that with like a gun to like build things. What I really liked in um, Create Astral and th other things that have created it, right, is blueprints. There's probably something here where we could design structures. I don't know if there's anything where we could just like design stuff in creative and then bring in a blueprint and like automate construction. I don't know. But if there is, I would be interested in that to do the thing I said I didn't want to do, which is to do fancy designs of things. <laughs> uh, we get all the time. Okay, so. I like that we had spare water. All right, concrete in, concrete. So that's 36, is that how many we needed? Yes, all right, then we're done here. Um, all right, I made an extra one. I grabbed the other one from somewhere else. So that's fine. Let's let's head back. Maybe we can get back in time to. Uh... Well, we don't have a bed over here, but I guess sleep in our sleeping bag in the usual spot. I'm really glad that you don't get a negative effect effect for stepping in that creosote. Uh, I just can't wait to count all the decorative heads you, when you're done. So yeah, we'll be able to do that probably in a couple of years. <laughs> uh, I did mention at the beginning of the stream, which I, I'll acknowledge I started early um, today, but at the beginning of the stream, um, so it turns out metal pipes filled with molten metal are very hot. Surprising, <laughs> that that is not. Uh, but specifically, like, so we have a metal pipe here that has steam in it. I don't know if this is as hot, as damaging, but the um, the pipe over by the smeltery that has some old tin in it, uh, when I was doing some stuff off stream the other day, I touched the pipe and I died like instantly, like tick, tick, dead. And I was confused Then I went back over there to get my grave or, oh no, no, right, I was, I was taking the lava tanks out 
because I was going to take them to fill them with more lava. And I thought maybe I had touched something in the smelter. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I touched the pipe again, unknowingly. Instantly dead again. So there are two more heads on the uh, on the house over there. What I'm eventually going to do, uh, maybe here, maybe actually a future incarnation of this room, the trophy room, we'll do a head room. That'll just be all heads. <laughs> all right, anyway. Uh, okay, so we need those iron furnaces. What do I feel like? Oh, do I have stuff in here? Am I missing something? Nah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we made the fire bricks. We made the buckets of concrete that we needed. Uh, the other thing we need is the actual like controller block for the multi-block structure. Uh, and so I should have the stuff to make that now, right? Check. Very satisfying uh, wrench sound <laughs> to put that together. And that should be the quest. Time to get some steel. Now, where are we going to put this? So, bricked blast furnace. It is a blast furnace. Uh, controller block for the bricked blast furnace. Usable for steel. And general pyrometallurgy uh, has a useful interface unlike other great tech multis causes 200 pollution per second left shift to display structure guidelines all right so this is a, a three by three by four that's hollow so there will be two uh two blocked tall gap in the middle of it everything except for the controller should be fire bricks the top block is also empty. Okay, so three blocks. Actually, I think I remember this from Threefold's video. I was watching one of them recently. So it's 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 um like a cup where it's open at the top and hollow down to the bottom. You can share walls of GT multis. Right. Okay, cool. So We got a spot. Let's put it right here. We got a three by three area right here. We can just put it right here. One, two, three by three. Uh, and then, so this is going four tall. Um, I don't know if it matters where the uh, controller is put. BRB, all right, I'll be here. So this goes like this. Ah. Uh, oh, it needs a wrench. Please tell me I'm able to harvest this. Yes, <laughs> all right. Uh, that would be hilarious. All right, and then, do you work? Aha, it does work. <laughs> the bricked blast furnace. Done. All right, cool. And we got a bunch of stuff in our inventory that we don't need anymore. Some random chests here that we can pick up as well. Uh, let's take that there. Uh, clay dust, I think we already were keeping some in there. Quarried stone, calcite dust. All right, we got these drawers that I have. don't know what I'm gonna put in. I'll figure that out at some point. Let's run up here and uh, put some stuff, uh, that dirt in bulk storage, and I think I was storing quarried stone in there. There we go. So how much more tree do we have? So I have one more room here that I haven't used yet for anything. And then this could be a room, and then I think we're out of tree. Okay, I've I've cut down all the rest. Um, 
Again, maybe I'll just keep on cutting. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how uh, things shape up. Okay, so uh, we should look at the quest book. That's what we should do. We should get a reward. So, uh, we get cold coke and loot bags and coins. I guess I should have stayed up, up further in the tree where the coins are being kept. Uh, and I'm going to take the gold ore berries because we have the other two so we can grow more. But we don't have gold or berries yet. So I will take that. Um, let's see, cold coke. Put right there, I guess. Put the coins and loot bags away. I am of two minds about the loot bags. Because on the one hand, we could just open them now. And they might have useful things. You know, luck of the draw. Or we could hold out until we can enchant them with fortune three. So I don't know. Uh, if we hold ore berries, I can do this and I'll end up in the bag. Out of the way, there we go. All right, so let's see. What's next in the quests? What's next? So uh, we should make steel. <laughs> so if we go back to the steam age, the quest that sent us all over to the other place was this one to make steel ingots. So if we look at the tab for the blast furnace. No, the primitive, the primitive blast furnace. Uh, oh, did I disconnect it, it says. What's up with that? Why disconnect it? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I reconnected. Okay. I'm back, maybe. I still have internet, so that's good. Uh, keep an eye on the time here. <laughs> All right, uh, well, if I'm, if I'm here, the time's not advancing. So am I back? <laughs> uh, yes, good. All right, sorry for the, the short interruption. I don't know why my internet decided to stop, but uh, we, we're back. All right, so um, right, quests, steel ingots, uh, primitive, blast furnace. So there's some options uh, in terms of, we could put an iron ingot in into coal coke and we can get a steel ingot, one to one. <laughs> uh, but I think there's also dust options. Uh, if we did more. Why do I have a spinning wheel? Okay, that's fine. Is there, yeah, a block? But that's, I don't think that's, okay, so that's 2160 seconds. Is it more time efficient? Versus this? If it is, it's not much. I don't know if I bother. Uh, there may just not be any efficiency gains here at with the, the primitive version. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get some iron. Hey, look, we have a bunch of iron. Hey, brainless, how's it going? Uh, let's see, how much iron are we going to do? Why? Okay, that was weird. Um, so if we were to do 64, we need 128. All good, how am I? Uh, good, except I briefly lost internet there uh, a couple minutes ago, but seems fine now. Um, we're about to hit a big milestone, which is making steel for the first time. I'm pretty sure, yeah, coal coke. 
So if I used all 32 of these, I could do 16 iron. Let me check that I got that right. So if we look over at the primitive, so many machines. <laughs> primitive blast furnace, it's one and two, makes one. All right, so we can do 16 iron and 32 coal coke to get 16 steel. That's exciting. So we just made this after much bucketing water and making concrete and you know going back and forth and all, all that stuff for the last I, maybe an hour. And it goes and it goes uh, maybe like this. How do you work? Doesn't seem like it's working. This cold coat from Railcraft, right? Look at all the recipes. Okay, this might be slower than actually hitting you on iron. Uh, let's sink. Oh yeah, there's 160. Okay, now so not that way. If I hit you here. Yes, if I hit you here. <laughs> Uh, let's go back to the primitive blast furnace. So coal coke from railcraft, one iron ingot. Two, and it is slots one and three. But it's not doing anything. Do I have to put them in one at a time? How do you work? Oh, 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 oh. is this? Is this, is this the thing where you have to hit it with a hammer? Okay. Anyone know how this is supposed to work? <laughs> uh, wait, should be 16. Don't look at me, you know what my that's like for this game. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it should work, right? Unless it's like, we should be able to put multiple things in it. It is supposed to take some time. It's supposed to take like three minutes. The multi-block did, ass did assemble. Front center. Controller. I mean, that's front center, right? Yeah, because this is like the bottom. Oh, where did I get a mushroom from? Okay, anyway. Okay, time to read the quest book again. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I didn't think it would be difficult. Uh, one, return here once you've made at least eight steel ingots. Okay, so we should go back to multi-block goals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. Craft, oh, yeah. Crafting the work table would make this easier, but I didn't do that. Let's do that, uh, after this. That'll be helpful. Uh, can share walls, air quality things, stuff, and this we can't even look at. I mean, we can look. So to be fair, I think I said this once or twice, there's nothing wrong with clicking view mode and being able to see, and this allows you to like click into all the different quests. You still can't do them. It's not cheating or anything um, without you know completing prerequisites. But I like having this turned off because this is just a lot for all the chapters, and it's easier to stay focused if it's just like this. But uh, I don't I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's working right now.
I don't know. Let's try just putting one and two. Now if I hit you with a hammer. Machine processing disabled, enabled. Cold Coke and iron. Um, Coal coat two, iron one, brit blast furnace, brit blast furnace. Dimensions three by four by three, so four high, three wide, and did I ask nicely? That's what I was doing with the hammer. I right clicked it. That's asking nicely, right? <laughs> uh, dimensions hollow. Uh, front center, everything except controller. Top brick is also empty. You can share walls. Okay. I mean, we don't need steam or anything. Is it, it says it's idle, which is interesting. Facing south. Makes sense. That's south. Anyone have a clue? <laughs> Um, like I knew there was a thing where like the top needed to be empty. That was, I thought going to be the gotcha. Is this a, uh, we need to break it and put it back in. How do you work? Okay. Yes. What if it's there? I don't think it should be there. I think it should be here. What if this is supposed to be here? It shouldn't be. Um, this should be right. I don't get it. Maybe it needs fire at the bottom. I don't think so. How? I'll tell you what, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, Twitch wants me to uh, take a break. So I'm gonna take a break for a couple minutes and I'm gonna do two things. Yeah, there's three slots because the third slot, well, it's interesting, right? So if you look at the recipe and we go over to the um, Primitive Blast Furnace, which is what this is. You can see there are three slots. Iron ingot, blank, and coal coke. Make steel ingot and tiny piles of ash. So this is what I'm trying to do. The third slot is if we were trying to put in um, multiple ingredients. I don't, I don't even know if that's a thing. That's not even a thing. But I think you can put powders in it. I'm going to Google. I'm going to do some Googling. I'm going to take a, a quick break. And Google thinks it's th that I'm talking to it, which I'm not. Uh, and, you know, I don't know. I'll Google it. <laughs> okay. Be back in just a couple minutes uh, with some more Great Technical Horizons. BRB. Be